inexcusable what Disney has become. It's unbelievable. And what it really frustrates me about Disney, just as a side de small detour, is that they made billions being the safe haven for families for years, and then they turn around and they use that against. It's just so sick and so wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to Forget Disney. This is how conservative entrepreneurs can win, guys. We need this. So let's listen. So I definitely would say I agree with you on a lot of things, um, but I guess just to kind of make it Fun. something, uh, well, not necessarily. Well, so, uh, you know, I'm a guy, I'm a plumber, I work the trade. What can we do to help push the um, country in the direction that we want to see it? What can you do? We've got to have bigger families. And we got to get to work. We've got to build things that last and matter. So one of the things is we've got to have more conservative business, that businesses that are owned by us that share our values so that we're cancel-proof. That's a real thing, regardless of what you think the future of the country looks like. It's we we got to start our own businesses now. That doesn't excuse us from what I believe holding these current businesses accountable, like Disney, right? And so it's inexcusable what Disney has become. It's unbelievable. And what it really frustrates me about Disney, just as a side de small detour, is that they made billions being the safe haven for families for years, and then they turn around and they use that against. It's just so sick and so wrong. But we got to build stuff. We have to be positive and forward thinking. And I have to say, in my kind of mixed bag of analysis, this is one thing I really appreciate about Elon Musk, is he's a builder, and I love builders. There's complainers and there's doers. And I, and I, I, I and again, I'm against some of the moral and philosophical claims of what he does. He does way too much business with China, all that stuff. But I think that we as a movement would be better suited, like what are we gonna build that's ambitious and beautiful? Are we gonna build the next Disney? I guarantee you someone in this room right now has the potential to build a multi-billion dollar company. That's a real thing, right? Like regardless, you might, you, know, you believe in no government, all that stuff, whatever, fine, we can go through, over that. Probably never, but um, the the point is that's a real thing. So build things that last. Build things that are beautiful, beautiful families, beautiful communities. Support good businesses. Take risks. Be an entrepreneur. So I want you to imagine if someone hears what I just said, they're like, I'm going to start the next Disney, and they do it. Imagine the cultural impact of that, right? And you might say, Oh, Charlie, that will never happen. I disagree. I think the spirit of the American entrepreneur hasn't even started taking risks. It's like, no, I'm going to go start something big, bold, ambitious, and beautiful. And we're starting to see more and more people start to do that. Like, we're going to start our own Starbucks. I see some people pointing themselves. Good. I believe in you. You can do it. Totally. Like, only in America can you do really gritty, awesome things. Like, and I'm living proof of this, right? I started Turning Point USA when I was 18 years old in the suburbs of Chicago. No money, no connections, no idea what I was doing. We're now on thousands of high school and college campuses across the country, over 250 people on staff. I now have a podcast, a radio show, all this. And I look around, I'm like, only in America could a kid who didn't go to college, who no one believed in, and then people started to, an amazing generosity followed. Is that possible, right? And so, so for you, it's like, you're a plumber, right? Then go start an incredible, like, go start the next task rabbit. I'm not kidding. Like, you could do that. And that's what we need to start thinking of, right? The positive, forward thinking. Because here's the thing. We're dealing with an incredibly suppressive and negative force over our country right now, right? They want you to think that our country is going to fall apart. And like, I just went through all the things wrong, okay? But what are the risks we're going to take to make the country better? Guys, I, first of all, I'm so proud of Charlie. Like, I literally had no idea he started turning point when he was just 18. I'm happy for him. I mean, like, guys, do not give up on your dreams. You can literally achieve it. I just feel like a lot of people are too scared to take risks. But before I deliberate on that, I am totally lost here. Please, can someone in the comment section tell me what happened to Disney? I really want to know because I have always dreamed of going to Disney. I mean, I see a lot of people going there and how fun it is. But like, now, I don't know. I was lost when Charlie was saying, um, you know, what he said. But let me know. Let me know what happened to Disney. Back to what I was saying. A lot of people are scared to take risk. And I understand. I totally understand. Because, um, let's say, for example, you want to start a business. You're not sure how this business is going to go. So you don't want to waste money as your capital. But... You could try taking risks. I mean, in business, mostly, mostly um, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs take risk, a lot of risk. Say, it may not be a success, it may crash, but the most important thing is, you give it your oil, 
you did your best and you will continue to do your best. That's just it. So people should stop being scared of taking risks when it comes to business. Like it's something you want to do. So go ahead, give it your all. Do it. Do it. I mean like literally that's the only way you know that i did this thing like this and it didn't work out so next time i'm gonna try doing it the other way if it doesn't work out that way something else another another idea is gonna pop up and then like you just keep on going but when you just sit in one place saying i can't lose this amount of money right now like you're just gonna be there forever and that's just that's just it so people should be it's not easy the way I'm saying it, it's coming out easy because it's just words that flowing out of my mouth. But on a normal day, like, look at it, it's not easy to take risk when it comes to business, especially when it has to do with money. So just, you could actually make your dream come to life. All you have to do is put your best into what you're doing and make sure you achieve what you've always wanted. And risk is a part of business that people should be open to actually pass through but guys you tell me what you think about this don't forget to like subscribe to my channel i love you guys